City. It has been hailed as one of the 100 best television shows of all time. Welcome to WatchMojo.com. You bastards! And today we'll be taking a look at the history of South Park. Oh, hi, I'm Trey Parker. And I'm Matt. Matt Stone, that is. <laughs> oh, you nut. South Park was originally created by Trey Parker and Matt Stone in the early 1990s as two simple stop-motion shorts. These animations quickly became some of the internet's earliest viral videos. As a result, the pair was given their own series on Comedy Central in 1997. South Park single-handedly put that channel on the map as early as its debut episode, which was infamously titled Cartman Gets an Anal Probe. Cartman, there's an 80-foot satellite dish sticking out of your ass! Sure, you guys, whatever! Since then, the mature-rated program has become famous for its reliance on dark comedy, bizarre satire, crude language, and simple animations. Making the shift to a regular series required its creators to ditch their slow paper cutout technique in favor of quick and dirty computer software. It also forced Stone and Parker to adopt a set location for the series and a core cast of characters. As a result, the show focused on the exploits of four young boys who lived in the fictional town of South Park, Colorado. Stan Marsh was an average kid and the show's anchor character. What did you say? I said, we're not getting on, you fat, ugly bitch. He was joined by his group of pals that included his Jewish friend Kyle Broflovsky. I really, really have a problem with what you're doing. I object to it morally, and I find it grossly offensive. The obese and obnoxious Eric Cartman. Yeah, 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 yeah. I made you eat your parents. And the poverty-stricken Kenny McCormick, who wore his snowsuit so tight, both his face and voice were hidden. <laughs> <laughs> One of the show's longest-running gags actually involved this character. During the first five seasons of South Park, Kenny would die in almost every episode, and then reappear the next week. Well, who didn't see that coming? This joke was finally explained to fans in later seasons. Aside from this core group of elementary school students, South Park also incorporated a large cast of supporting characters, and many of these were voiced by the show's creators. These included a variety of personalities that ranged from classmates, teachers, and family members to Saddam Hussein and the Devil. In fact, both of those characters appeared in 1999's R-rated theatrical film, South Park, Bigger, Longer, and Uncut. Who's my cream puff? I am. That's my buddy. The show's cast did undergo many changes. For example, Kenny was absent during the show's sixth season, and this resulted in his replacement by Tweak. Man, this is too much pressure! Mr. Garrison, on the other hand, went through several eyebrow-raising alterations to his sexual identity. I don't have a gay side! I'm as gay as a gymnast on shore leave! I had a sex change operation. My penis is now a vagina and I'm experiencing womanhood for the first time in my life! I'm a man again! thanks to my very special new friend. What proved most shocking to the show's longtime fans was the departure of Isaac Hayes in his iconic role as chef in 2006. Hayes left the show after a dispute with the creators over their insensitivity towards his religion of Scientology. Dad, Tom Cruise won't come out of the closet. Leading up to this, South Park had begun to shift from absurd shock value towards social commentary in many of its storylines. This gave the series a sense of maturity, even if that wasn't always reflected in the show's dialogue. God damn it! It's all right. Everything is as it should be. Oh, shut up, Buddha. While the show consistently mocked different faiths and the American way of life in general, the kids on the show usually learn from their experiences. However, the adult world often missed the point, like many critics of the show. You know, I think I've learned something today. It's really easy not to think of images on TV as real people, but they are. That's why it's easy to ignore those commercials, but people on TV are just as real as you or I. Each South Park episode was written and produced within the span of a week. The creators capitalized on this tight deadline by rapidly responding to breaking news and social events. We were right about the purity rings. A nice Christian symbol can't be used for profit gains. We've all anchored God. You think God is in control here? <laughs> I am in control. I've been in control since the 50s, in case you haven't noticed. <laughs> Despite the controversy that has surrounded the show almost since day one, South Park has lined up many celebrity guest stars, including Jennifer Aniston. Good! You deserve to die, you little bastard! And the comedy duo Cheech and Chong. Four dozen Cherokee hair tampons, please. No problem, man. Pay misinformation up front. 
The series also gained recognition for its use of music, whether it was sung by the show's characters or by parodies of celebrities. I've been so lonely, girl, I've been so sad and down, couldn't understand why haters joked around. I wanted to be free with other creatures like me, and now I got my wish. Cause I know that I'm a gay fish, gay fish, gay fish, yo. Of course, many stars have lent their voices to the series as well. <laughs> South Park has been a lightning rod for controversy since its debut in 1997, but the show continued to embrace taboo subject matter and toilet humor. Either despite or because of this, South Park remained Comedy Central's highest rated comedy series for well over 10 seasons and continued pushing the boundaries in a way no other show could even attempt to duplicate. Say everybody have you seen my balls, they're big and salty and brown. If you ever need a pick, pick me up, just stick my balls in your mouth. Ooh, suck on my chocolate salty balls. Put them in your mouth, put them in your mouth and suck them and suck them.